Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on making a metallic car paint shader for Blender. That with these four options allows you to control the paint to achieve an OEM look with subtle metallic flake or a more custom with heavy flake or even a subtle paint job that looks plain uh, but then you pick up a flake in the highlights on the car. So to begin making the shader, we're going to start with a principal shader. This will form the base color, so I'm going to set this just to a red and make it slightly darker. I'm going to set metallic to 1, the roughness to 0.3, and to remove these sort of milky white reflections, I'm going to turn specular down to 0.1. That's it for the base. So to start working on the metallic flakes, I'm going to add another principal shader. This time I'm going to set the base color uh, to an orange color. I'm going to set the metallic to one. I'm going to leave specular at 0.5 for the flakes, but I'm going to turn roughness down to 0.2. Now to actually make the flakes pop like you saw in the intro, we're going to use a Voronoi texture to affect the normals of this principal shader. So I need Shift A to add a texture and a Voronoi texture. I have Node Wrangler active, so I can just press Control T to add the mapping. If you don't, I'd suggest you enable it or you can manually add the texture coordinate and mapping. We want to go to Object into the vector. I'm going to control shift and click on the Voronoi so we can preview it. And again, to switch to the color. Before we go any further, I'm going to drag the texture and mapping node out. Also add in a noise texture. So shift A to add texture and noise. We're also going to need a mix RGB node, which is shift A, color, and mix RGB. I'm going to plug the factor of the noise into color one, the vector into color two, and then the color of the mix RGB into the vector of the Voronoi. As you can see, this makes a weird wavy pattern, and we can control between completely noise or the normal texture. Now I'm only adding this because I found on large flat panels like a roof of a car there was a weird repeating pattern in the Voronoi texture. So if we add a slight noise at 0.98 it barely has any effect on the actual Voronoi texture but it just breaks that repeating pattern. Now obviously the flakes of a car are a lot smaller than this so while we're here I'm going to set the scale to a thousand. And we need to plug this into the principal BDF. So I'm going to preview this for now. And then Shift A to add. And we need to add a normal map from vector normal map. Plug the color into color and the normal into normal. And then change the tangent space option to object space. As you can see though, this gives uh, a sparkle effect over the entire car that it looks like it's just covered in glitter where we want this effect just to happen where the sun or the light source hits the car so to achieve this we can do this by turning the strength down you notice as i turn it down the effect gets less and it concentrates on where the sun is touching the body of the car so i'm going to set this to 0.07 which gives a subtle flake effect but I'd like a slightly wider effect as well also to be captured. So to do this, I'm going to left click and drag over the normal in principle, shift D to duplicate it and just move it above these notes. I'm then also going to take the color of the Voronoi plug into the normal map and change this bottom normal value to 0.15, which gives a wider texture to the metallic flake and if I control shift click to preview you can see how this changes the look of the car 
And now we just need to mix all these shaders together. So I'm going to move the output over here out of the way. Shift A to add and shader, mix shader. The first to add together will be the two metallic shaders. So make sure that the 0.15 is plugged into the bottom and the 0.07 is plugged into the top. We can then control between these two metallic flakes. I like to set this to about 0.2. This will primarily pick 0.07 but give a subtle hint of the wider 0.15 we can then select the mix shader and shift d to duplicate it clicking on the line so the flake goes into the top and we can add the bottom principal mode which was our base color into the bottom shader this gives us the control between 100 percent flake and the base with no flake for a reasonable look i like about 0.7 and then lastly we need to add a clear coat on top of this now we can use the clear coat of the principal mode but i like to add it separately so it's added after we've mixed the flake in so again we're going to select the mix node and shift g to duplicate it and click it on the line so it should feed into the top slot automatically i'm going to shift a and add a glossy shader Plug this into the bottom, turn roughness to zero. And then we're going to shift A and go to input for now and plug this into the factor of that mix shader. This gives us the base of our metallic paint shader, but there's a couple of things to add to really sell this. I'm going to move that glossy node we just added for the clear coat out to the boards of the bottom. I'm then going to add a texture and a noise texture. I'm going to use this noise texture to give orange peel to the clear coat. So we need to also plug the vector into this noise. If I preview the noise, you can see we just get black and white. I'm going to turn the scale up to 500 and the roughness to one. Now we need to plug this factor into the normal. So to do this, we need a bump node. So if you search for bump, plug the factor into the height. It's important that it's in the height and then the normal to the normal. If we preview the glossy node now, you can see that it no longer reflects. So we need to turn down this bump I like to leave the strength at one and just turn the distance to a very small value. So I like to go 0.6 zeros and a five at the end. It's only a really subtle effect. 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's really subtle how much effect this actually has on the orange peel, but it is noticeable. The last thing to do to this is to set it up that we can easily customize it to whatever we want for this project and for the next project. So now we've actually finished with the nodes. I'm just going to move the car out of the way. I'm going to left click and drag over every node except the output node. Press Control G, which will create a group. Now what we can do is choose the options that actually affect the output so if you look on the group input there is a node that's not being used if i click and drag that i can drag it to the firstly to the base color at the bottom principal node as that is actually our base color the next node down i'm going to drag out to the top principal node which is our metallic flake from that same node, I'm going to drag out to the middle principal node. The new point, I'm going to drag out to our scale of our Voronoi texture. And the last one, I'm going to drag out to the factor of the middle mix shader that we set to 0.75 originally. Then I press N to open the right side toolbar and we can rename these. 
So the first shader we added was actually the base color. So I'm going to leave that called base color. The second was the metallic flake color. So I'm going to rename this to metallic flake. The scale was of the Voronoi texture. So that was flake size. Assuming I can spell. And the last was the factor of the mixing of the flake principal shaders to the base shader. So I'm going to call this flake opacity. And then we can press N to close the right side toolbar. And pressing tab will come out of the group and it'll collapse it just to these four options. Which if I bring my car back, that gives us the control between the colors, the size of the flake, and we can control it just from these four options. The final tip I'll say for this metallic shader is that it works best with dark colors and where the base color is darker than the metallic flake. For example, setting a dark blue and then setting a lighter blue of the metallic flake gives a really nice effect to the metallic. And that completes this tutorial. I hope you find it useful.